Hello everyone. And today is the 9th of July 2014. Glorious temperatures of 21 degrees. And today we're going to have a look around the glorious little village on this glorious sunny day of Hettonley Hole. How much has it changed over the past years since inhabitants first approached the village of its instance? Here we are, city of Sunderland, Hedley Hole. On the left here used to be a Broomhill Estate. There's one house, two houses left now, but that's going to be turned into some sort of um, development, you know, yes. We're heading up now along Houghton Road, coming past Doxford Avenue and Doxford Terrace. There we have on the left the three tons. On the right you have a funeral place where they have a quite a unique bike hearse thing that you can put people in when they are going to another place. There's a speed sign there to make people aware that Hetton likes people to obey the limit. And on the right you have Hetton Park. Oh yes, many a fun time spent down Hetton Park with its trees and all its greatness. There's the X35, all the way to Sunderland from Hartlepool, I believe. On the right you have Hetton Cemetery, place where you go, you are no longer with us in this place. News and booze delights on the left and we are heading up to the Downs. The Downs, we're going up to the Downs. There used to be come down with the wall on the right, oh, St. Cuthbert Close, and this is Regent Street. Yes, Regency, oh yes, very nice place, very nice place. Main road, take a left here, along and head up to Appleton, you know. Yes, this is Appleton. Up along we go to Appleton. This is Church Road, up going to Appleton. Rather narrow because cars are parked on the left-hand side of the road. Lovely day, as you can see, the trees, the trees are alive. Alive and breathing the carbon dioxide that we breathe in them. Here we have a traffic calmed area with speed humps to make you go along slowly. And here's some houses that I've never seen before. Built where a church used to be, or yes, knocked down a church of uh, religious belief to build a housing estate. Changing times. So there's a little play park on the left. And here we have. Ableton Cricket Club with its own cricket grounds. A nice bend round here goes past Ableton Primary School. Yes, went there when I was a weenapa before I headed off to college and university and to where I am today. Here we are heading round the Ableton Estate. See in the distance there, the windmills, the windmills are turning. Not that breezy, but they turn to generate electricity that is friendly in the environment. As you can see, people also have solar panels on their roofs, with some of them anyway, to generate electricity that helps to save cost in the long run. Grants from the government, things like that. On the right here used to be houses, but it's all been demolished to make way for grass. Grass that grows, grows grass. Here we have Eppleton Estate, which um, there's only one house left there. The rest are boarded up. On the left, we have the quarry. The quarry where people dig for things that live in the quarry. Another house there with some solar panels on and a local downstop shop office and license with a... Also, it has a bit of a little um, fish shop on the right of it. If you want fish and chips, down there's the Downs, Downs Lane. Yes, we're coming back out now of Appleton, and we're going along to turn left to head towards Downs Lane from Regent Street. Lovely little doggy there, has a nice thick coat, a bit warm I bet. Look at the views, absolutely tremendous. Hetton is a lovely place to live for local people and for people from afar. Narrow still, but Oh, this person's very polite, waiting for me with a smile as I drive past. Here we go, left. Up to Downs Lane. Yes, I'm going up 
the road to Downs Lane. As you see the windmills again in the distance, if you can. Lots of trees, because we do like trees in Hettenley Hole. On the right here you have Hetton Carpet Mill with a K. Yes, try to be a bit funky. I've used them before, reasonable service. This on the left used to be a pub. There's more of Hetton Carpet Mill and we have the Shepherds here on the left. A local pub with pool and darts. Oh yes, pool and darts. There's Pacino's for some nice kebab wraps. Lots of other places, Balti Shop, which is an Indian restaurant. Indian takeaway and a convenience store. Here we have a Makini. Yes, recently opened. Well, not recently, but it used to be a Chinese uh, Italian got there in the end. <laughs> and on the back end there was Max Muscle Gym. Here we are heading down Caroline Street. At the bottom of here there used to be a pub called the Caroline. But it was turned into a butcher's. Well, have you believe it? A butcher's. It already has a few more butchers, but they decided to make one anyway. Down the bottom there you can see the centre of Hettonley Hole with Barclays Bank. We're going to take a look at Hetton Doctors, a GP surgery for the local people. The local people. Here we have St. Bede's and up on the right there, which I won't drive, is a very holy street which I can't remember the name of right now. Yes, this is all pretty new, built in 2008. Just that on the left, anyway. More trees. Round here we also have an old people's home for when you get old and you want to have a home. You know, exactly what I mean. If you don't want to live at home or you can't live at home, then you just pay to live in a home away from home. That's the Laurels Care Home, on the right. Have a few townhouses there, bundled up together. And here is Hetton Medical Centre, with Regentview Care Home on the left. Speed hump here, just to make sure that uh, you slow down. Yep, this is where people come when they have boo-boos or a little medical ailment. And it also has a pharmacy on the left there. And that's basically a medical center. Yep, where you come for your local prescriptions, things like that. Things like that, and hay fever, oh yes. <coughs> oh, bless me. Sorry about that. And here we go, back round, uh, heading towards the centre of Hettonley Hole. This car is not in much of a rush. Not much of a rush at all. 12 mile an hour, in fact. New speed limit in Hedley Hill. Around the doctors is now 12 miles per hour. Be that 20 miles per hour. Uh, be it 18. Well, as we are slowly heading towards the centre of Hedden, uh, we'll make it sooner now. <laughs> as you can see in the distance, is the centre of Hedden again. Finishing touches on the left. Been a few things over the years, but it's got a quite an unusual build. A round corner. Yes, round. More <laughs> round. There's the crown there, where that car is headed, in a more hastily speed than it was earlier. Here we have ground. We have Mears, Paris Quality Butchers, Derek Moss, Garden Harvest, which doesn't exist anymore, I believe. Bridges Newt Agency, which um, um, was supposed to be opened a while ago, but I really don't understand why it hasn't. We have Wright and Munro. There's the post office. Yes, Hetton has maintained its history by keeping a post office in the centre. They have Pricewise, used to be Gibbs, and here's a Greg's delivery blocking the road. Yes, this is supposed to be a daily thing when they decide to do deliveries in rush hour on a weekday. Fruit and veg, herons, tattoo, spy will, super fly wills. There's Tesco, used to be. There's Summerfield. And this round to the right here is uh, the bus station. Yes, the bus station. We have our own bus station 
in Hettenley Hole. Don't know if I chose the right time to come around, but it seems to be a little bit busy today. Bit busy, bit busy. There's Hair and Beauty by Main and Minx. Been a few hairdressers over the years, but also a florist at once, I believe. And also used to sell booze at one time as a bargain booze shop. This is the bus station where people come for local public transport, for buses, you know. Cars are allowed in here before you say anything. And there's Hetton Sports Complex and Leisure Centre. On the right there you have Tesco. And along here you have the Hetton Centre, just next to its official name, Hetton Community Pool and Wellness Centre. Don't know if I'd go in there with a cold and come out feeling well though. This is the Hetton Centre where people have functions, do's, things like that for christenings, etc, etc. And they have the entrance to Hetton Park. This features the Bob Paisley Bar where people can go for drinks and there's also a library. So you can have a few drinks and also come out and then read a book. If you can, if you want. There you have Hetton Colliery Welfare football pitch. Oh yes, where Sunderland Reserves sometimes play, I'm head to believe. If you're a Sunderland fan, then we'll head out back now. So if you, you want a pint or you want to read a book or come for a local activity or come for a do, something like that for any occasion, then the Hetton Centre is for you. Watch out, no cars coming, find me go. More solar panels. Uh, yes, Hetton is more about energy than you think. There's the one-way system where people decide to break that rule now and again, as I experienced several months ago. And that is... Hetton Bus Station and Tesco, and the Hedden Centre, etc, etc. These lights always make you wait, no matter what time it is. Even if it's dark, they'll make you wait. But today it's nice and sunny. Sunny, sunny, and nice. Here we go down now to the right. On the left here used to be the old council offices, which are now down Houghton, so I don't know why we pay an extra £10 something, or £12, in council tax. This is the key. It's called the key because it is. That's, that's all I can really say on the matter. Driving down now, over a little bridge. Yes, that's a bridge, you know. Over the bridge we've gone. Where the Beck, <laughs> yes, the High Light River of Hettenley Hole. To the right you have the Jack Guy, little thing, the blacksmiths. And over there we have the Fox and Hounds public house. This road leads to the Fur Lane Ends. Not to be confused with the Fur Lane Ends in Heaton. Not Hetton, Heaton. You have the newly, well, not newly, but recently built in times of, of the universe that we, a smidge of time. This is Hetton Lions Primary School. Back on the other side of me was Hetton Comprehensive School. I've picked the bloody wrong time to come round here today. Rush hour in Heavenly Hell. Except no one seems to be in much of a rush. I let them out, seeing as those wouldn't. Nothing wrong with a bit of manners in Hetton these days. Oh, they're parking. 
Taxi. Here we have a local scrap man on the left with his van. Don't know if he's with his van or not. I think it's just parked up. That's where they collect local metals and things like that to um, sell to yards that collect scrap. Highly profitable, I can think. On the right here, we have the new inn. And this is Fairland Roundabout. I go left, on the left here used to be a petrol station. Now they watch cars. Before that, it used to be used as a forecourt for selling cars. Before that, it used to be a petrol station. I think I already said that. A bit forgetfulness there of my sons. And over there we have holiday travel. Used to be safari travel. To the right leads to Easington Lane, and further on there, straight on, leads to Merton. On the right here we have the barber shop. Take that, I actually need my haircut. This is Station Bank, heading up the bank in, back into Headingley Hole. There's Andrew Gray, family funeral directors. A few shops on the right here. The Chiropody Clinic, hair zone if you want some hair. Cutting, and Primrose Care Home on the left here. There's Studio S. If you want a nice tan, very popular when it's very sunny. Norman Hall on the right. There we have Hetton Social Club on the right too. Ian and Richie, the garage, a big garage, and we also have the Masonic, Masonic, I may say. <coughs> Pardon me. Hall. Coming back into the centre of Hetton, there's the Colliery Inn. There's Deep Blue Pizza Matic. Coral, all you need in Hetton is here, including opticians, etc., etc. Here we're heading up now, Richard Street. Coral on the left. There is Hetton Victory Club, where you can purchase pints of things and things like that. Leads up here, all the way we go. <laughs> Some old historic buildings there that don't seem to be used. There's Pollen Barns. Just take a little quick spin around Hetton Big Club. The most popular place, well, one of the most popular places in Hetton for drinking. It's grounds, it has the statue over to the left, a bowling green, nice quality grass for bowling. There's a club on the right. There's a little smoking shelter that no one tends to use. But it is quite a big place, good on every night of the week, no matter what you like. From a quiet drink with your friends, to watch an act that do music on many nights of the weekend. There's the Prince of Wales Public House, also known as the Number Nine. So in short, or long or how you would say it, little church on the right here. It has been a nice little tour of Hettenley Hole. 